Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Rob Mustard, who is Vice President with Ruckus Wireless. Rob Mustard, there's been an enormous amount of hype about IPTV. What's the difference between the bullshit and the reality? I think, Martin, in the past the, the, the hype has not been followed up because there's been a lack of the right technology to deliver the, 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 the promise, so to speak. But today the technology does exist to deliver the kind of things that have been hyped and being talked about. And if I take my own personal experience from my, my travels across um, EMEA over the last six months, I can tell you that almost without exception, every service provider, whether they're a major PTT or a, or a sub-provider in any one country, are either in the process of preparing, they're rolling out pilots, or they're in full-blown deployment of, um, of their IPTV services and their marketing machines are kicking in. And, and it's not uncommon for some of these countries, especially in France, Spain and Italy, where we're seeing tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of subscribers for these services and growth rates which, which, which match them. So why is IPTV important? IPTV is, is only going to be important if it can deliver a better television experience than we have today. There's, there's no point in having a new mechanism of delivering television to people when most people already have a television set and already receive a television service. So there has to be something better that IPTV can, can provide. And I, I've heard it said at uh, several conferences that I've been to, uh, and, and that is that IPTV needs to be about better television. But better can mean a number of different things and better can be delivered in a number of different ways. It could be better in terms of more high definition content. It could be better in terms of being able to take content from content providers all over the world and now deliver them to, to any television set anywhere in the world. Or it could be from the content providers themselves in terms of their ability to do more product placement. I mean, some people may see this as a negative thing, but from a content provider, uh, an ability to do more product placement and provide a more interactive television experience, which an IP service enables, which is simply not possible with a standard terrestrial or even satellite television service. And of course, all of the potential success of IPTV is predicated on the availability of bandwidth. Is there enough there? Well, that's a, that's a very good question, and one of the reasons why we can't just press the button, if you like, and just roll out IPT everywhere today is because we are providing all these services will be provided either over the, the cable networks or more commonly the, the, the DSL services. And IPTV, you know, standard MPEG-2 will require somewhere in the region of, you know, one, two, three, four megabits per second, and then we move to high definition, which will typically use MPEG-4, we still may end up needing eight to ten megabits per second, and that's a lot of bandwidth. It's not necessarily a lot of bandwidth to deliver within the home itself, but on a DSL circuit, that's a lot. So we, we really need to see the wholesale deployment of ADSL 2 plus services, and that's what's going on, and you'll, you'll find that it's service providers throughout the world who are rolling out those kind of services that are on the back of that rolling out their IPTV services. In Europe, by the way, IPTV is, is quite a lot more advanced than it is in the US in terms of its adoption and that's really because we have on average shorter runs between the, the exchanges and the consumer, the consumer homes and distance is one of the, limit, uh, the limitations with regard to bandwidth that we can support on ADSL. So in the US, because they have much longer runs, uh, they're more limited in their capabilities to deliver ADSL 2 plus services. Well, you brought me nicely on to my next question. With traditional means of television reception, whether it's through the area or through cable, satellite or whatever, the distance from the head end, from the curbside to the house doesn't really matter much. But with IPTV it does. Why is that? And what solution does Ruckus have that others don't? Okay, well, the, the, the biggest issue with off-the-shelf wireless technology that you would go and buy in, in some retail outlet today is that it was originally designed for what's called TCP data, and it was, it's designed for data, for, for web browsing, sending email, etc., etc. And what's actually going on in the network in terms of the way that the data is transferred, we don't really care. As long as the screen refreshes within a few seconds, we're happy. When you start delivering something like um, streaming IPTV, you need, you need constant bandwidth. Um, and the downside with, with a Wi-Fi net, a traditional Wi-Fi network is highly prone to interference. There's lots of um, other technologies that interfere, operate on the same frequency, things like Bluetooth and microwave ovens and even electric garage doors. And any of those things at any moment in time can severely impact the performance of a wireless network. Now you can typically recover from that 
from a data perspective, the, the underlying protocols will allow you to recover. But with video and the protocol that it uses, once you start losing packets because of interference, they're lost forever. And from a consumer's perspective, what they see is artifacting on the screen, the program freezing, skipping, whatever. And that's simply not acceptable. So as a result of that, all service providers, without exception, have essentially until now precluded the idea of using wireless as a mechanism for delivering IPTV around the home. Because the point we have to realize is that where your DSL comes into your home, where your broadband comes into your home, is typically not going to be where your television set is. So somehow the service provider needs to connect that, that home gateway point to your television set. And if, if the standard wireless product isn't the solution, then what is? And you know, the, the simple solution in inverted commas would be cables. But new cables means truck roll, it means expense, it means inconvenience, it means drilling holes in walls. It's just something that the consumer and the service provider doesn't want to have to do. So what Ruckus has done for the first time is develop a wireless technology which is fully standards based, will interoperate with all the existing wireless products that are out there, but has the, the, which has some smart technology embedded inside it which allows it to steer around interference when interference occurs, prioritize IPTV over other types of applications, and to provide a reliable delivery mechanism for IPTV traffic. So the net result is you can use wireless, which you correctly pointed out, is the consumer's choice for home networking. And now they can keep that solution and they can deliver flicker-free DVD quality video all around the home, have their television set, set-top box or boxes, in any room, any time. There's a huge battle bubbling up between the likes of Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, AOL and so on as they fight for subscribers in the IPTV space. Who do you think is going to win? And where will IPTV be the big success that people say it will be? Will it be on the laptop? Will it be in the living room or the den? Will it be on mobile devices? Will it be in the home office? I think, uh, to date, it's been probably most successful on the laptop because all the relevant decoding material is easily obtainable and can be downloaded and run on, on a laptop, and there are a number of services around where people can watch television on a laptop. I, I don't think that ultimately that's what people really want to do. There's the, the old adage of you know, lean forward and, and lean back in terms of living room and, 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 and study. Um, having said that, I don't, I don't believe that, that it, it's a case of one place has to be more successful than the other. I think that IPTV is going to be such a television revolution. There's going to be such change in the way that we consume the content that is provided to us that they're all going to be successful. Okay? We will watch television on our PCs while we're working. We will watch it in the kitchen. We will watch it on our mobile phones and our personal digital assistants. That's, that's the benefit and the flexibility that IP brings that you simply don't have with the other type of um, television um, mechanisms that have been out there to date. Rob Mustard, thanks very much. Thank you.